Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jisera, I'm playing Persona 4 Golden. Last episode we got Tally back, and we learned even more about the entire investigation. I think last episode we learned that Adachi is the true killer. He also ran away into the TV world. But well, yeah, we're now with the entire band back together, and we're gonna go and look for Adachi. Feel recovered from yesterday's events. Should go to the TV world with everyone after school. After our school. Alright, here we go. We might need to get more information though. I'll give it a try, but if Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Mm. I do smell a Dachi baby in here. But the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! <laughs> oh, I'm getting something! <laughs> it's going Teddy? super sane. <laughs> Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But. That's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Mm. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there! Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you <laughs> say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom? Oh. Huh? You're saying he beat his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. A chief of mood has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step towards the truth! Nice. Rank 7! Good. Okay, we're just going in. <coughs> Damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just like walking in and then him being like that bitch. Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Hmm. Give it up. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it. Just being here proves it. Answer us. You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Hmm, that was a fragment that we saw in our minds. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot. It's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless 
bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? No. Ah! She fell in. <laughs> wow! So people can go completely inside! Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That... happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Hmm. <laughs> What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. <laughs> huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. These high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got this sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. <laughs> wow. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are uh... thinner, you know? Lighter. You know what? Uh, another thing I want to talk about for a second before we continue. Like, in, in, uh, in, in, in storytelling in general. It's always a lot more interesting when, when when the enemy has their reasons and then you're like a little bit conflicted of like sure he did bad things or like they did bad things but they had a reason for it and all that jazz. And then you have situations like this where the enemy, the true enemy which is hidden through most of the game is just like hey I'm evil. Hello. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. You did. It's not like I was trying to kill them. You did. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> So what if I knew? Hmm. Did you trick him, Atami? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Ah, that's the pattern to the two 
your death so far, and now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But... but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push, and he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? Grr, what a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, he turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, 
and then there'll be no difference, no sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump! Didn't, I, chump. Just Didn't I just tell, tell you the real me is somewhere else? else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean... Everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared! Let's get over-prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid, smug face! By pulling all your strength, the past, the path to the truth has been opened. Ay. All right. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this sand will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve... Uh, you resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Adachi! Alright. Welp. That was something. <laughs> Alright, what can I do right now? Oh uh, yeah, as expected. Let's go to sleep. Alright, school. Over here, students talking. Is this fog getting thicker and thicker, or is it just me? Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Huh? Nothing's going to happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Besides, if something terrible happens, the defense force or somebody is sure to, uh, is sure to come save us. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Huh. What if some giant monster attacks in or aliens or some movie about something like this? Uh, the panic. Lunch time. Oh, <laughs> right. Test results. The awful moment of truth. 
Wow. Run up, 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 up. You got the highest score. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. As it should be. <laughs> Number one. Forever. Must defeat the one behind all of this. One said for all. Right. Now I think as long as I don't do this, I'm not gonna be able to rank up anybody. Or at least, like, anybody of my party, which is kind of shitty, because I was hoping I could get, you know, people's personas leveled up. <laughs> it's mainly, um, it's mainly Rize, really. Because I think if I take a look at my S-Link... Yeah, Yosuke is almost done, and Rize is also almost done. God damn, that sucks. That sucks so much. <laughs> uh, and then Adachi, yeah. Wow. Just a big old wow. I love it though. I love it. So. Let's go over to the central shopping district and let's go and see if I can... Like, let me just go and buy stuff. <laughs> see, what I, see if I can get anything and then decide whether or not I'm gonna buy stuff. Okay, so I think I've already... No, I haven't sold these things. Right, so I haven't sold anything from going to the Divine Realm. <laughs> Let's go and sell all of these, I think. Prime Steel. Kenka. Kinju. Number one. <laughs> we are number one! A name that I cannot pronounce. Suzumachi or something. Mjolnir Boots. Demon Shield. The Mega Buckler. The Raging Bull, Assault Spike, Mythos Robe, Elint something, Oracle Gown, wow, that's a lot of stuff you got there. Let's see, what is the power increase? Eh, it's better but it's not amazing. Yosuke, also really not too amazing. Uh, Chie. Critical rate up medium. <laughs> ah, yes. More crit rate. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about doing it, though. Having her get more crit rate. You know what? Yeah, let's fucking do it. I'm doing it. Having her get even more crit rate is. sounds like an amazing experience. Uh, hmm. All my ailments low, but. Really low damage. Let's go and get you this thing. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna sell the disco fan because it might be interesting. And then these things are not really good. Yeah. Well, crit rate up. Medium. I'm gonna get a lot more money anyway. Sure. Yep. Uh, let's go and get rid of the gold light. Never. Bep. What does this do? Uh, nothing special. We just increase damage and lower hit rate, though. Uh, this one also isn't that amazing. All right. Then we have armor. Um, I have reduced physical damage by 20% for that one. Hmm. Yusuke! Reduced physical? Yeah, the same with that one. Okay, and then with Chie, we have reduced physical damage also. Yeah, she has an amazing piece of armor. And Yukiko has, doesn't have an amazing piece of armor, but a fine one. I guess she can get something like this. Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, sure. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. <laughs> Kanji! You have some preload, but you also have the same thing as the other ones. I feel like this is a nice thing to have for them. Naoto! Counter... hmm. Yeah, the one she's wearing right now is pretty good. And you have auto Tarakaja, but a not as much defense. It's gonna give you the Oracle Gun then. Yep. And get rid of the Passion Sets. Okay, cool. 
Accessories are fine, I think. We're gonna take a look at that, actually. At my accessories. <laughs> Excuse me while somebody's being murdered in my backyard. Um, you have a bravery vessel. What does that do? Uh, reduce the chance of fear. Exhaustion, silence. So I have two things about... Oh, like, just prevent silence. Okay. Greatly increases evasion rate to physical attacks. Evasion rate to fire attacks. Ice attacks. Wind attacks. Hmm. Let me go and give you the Volt Suppressor. Give it the power, Tasuki. Um... Increases strength. These are just, like, basic... Well, <laughs> basic. These are just... I'm gonna give her this one, actually. 30 more HP on her. She used a lot of HP, so... The Book of Sincerity... Or Serenity, sorry. Book of Serenity. Status ailments are re recovered in one turn. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> the Omega Drive. Let's see. Increase the chance of dealing crit criticals. Yeah, right. I like that on him. And then she has the black cat charm. Which I think is just going to increase her luck. Right? No, no, magic. Okay. Hmm. Having more magic is useful. She doesn't have a weakness per se, so I think that's fine. And we have you who has the ice power, which is more ice damage, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Reduces ice damage taken. Huh. What else can I give you? You do have a fire weakness. Right? Or no, you have you have another weakness, but I don't remember that. Just for him to strike. I'm not gonna give you this. If you die, then you just get revived, which sounds like a pretty good thing. Let's also go into the Velvet Room. And uh, let's go and fuse some Personas. I'm not gonna be fusing Personas to fill in the Compendium. I'm just gonna see if I can make anybody. Like, if I can make stronger Personas. So, Trumpeter... I should take a look at my personas to see which personas I have. Because I don't remember. I seem to remember having a pretty good lineup though. Of personas. Oh boy, I have a lot of them. Um, so this one was pretty dang good. It's a really strong one. With a lot of different things. And this one, which was like my physical one, which is also pretty dang good. You have Trumpeter, which is like light and dark stuff. Mainly. Uh, and also Megadola. Megadola! <laughs> Mother Harlot, which was the AOE uh, person. I can also silence people. Uriel was nothing too special. And then all these other ones were for um, for the things. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they were for uh, fusing. I'm sorry, no, for uh, the support things. There we go. Let's go over to Shiroku. So I can buy some more things. Mainly, I think go home, really. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <laughs> no. Uh, go home. So I have 15 of these. I'm gonna just buy more. For sure. There we go. All right. That's all I'm gonna be doing, I think. Since I don't think I'll be able to work on my support links before I go into the next dungeon, which is probably gonna be the final dungeon. Well, that's unfortunate, but at the same time, meh. <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't really, like, I do care about it a little bit, but not too much. How many people have actually finished off in my, in my party then? Because, yeah, that would just be Chie, Yukiko, and Teddy. <laughs> That's it. How are the levels, actually? Uh, I'm level 78. Wow. Jesus Christ. And then Rizai's level 78, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah... This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I find it so unfortunate that I can't... Yeah. I find it ridiculously unfortunate that I can't... That I couldn't get my party members' personas to become super powerful before we dealt with the final dungeon of the game, probably. 
Oh well. Welcome to Jeunesse. Every day's great at your Jeunesse or something. I haven't heard it in a long time. That's it. Right, at least, at least enough to spend that much money All right. on healing. <laughs> and it's something. <laughs> I still am pretty dang proud with what I've been able to do. With the amount of social links I've been able to finish. I can still continue doing them, I think, after I'm done with this. But, yeah. I touch you, baby. Bum bum ch. Bum bum ch. Bum bum ch. Ba ba ba. Now go to the club. The club? What's the club? Which one's the club? Is that like... I don't know, man. Okay, who am I gonna bring with me? Because... <sighs> Wait, what am I doing? I want to go over to heaven first. <laughs> Never mind. Let's return to the entrance. There is some stuff to be done, people. There is some stuff to be done in heaven. So I need to fight a prime magus on the first or the second floor. I will meet you guys once I find this thing. <laughs> I think I found the enemy, the prime magus, yes. So you're weak to lightning and you're weak to light. <laughs> Maybe I should try a lightning on everybody for a moment. Sure. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Let's see. <laughs> the fact that I keep missing is so annoying. Right. Don't worry. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Jesus. Still the galactic plant. Alright. Cool? No I can't defeat it! There we go. Please come again. And then we get the animal guide, which is one of the things I need. Alright, so the next thing I need. I found it on the first floor, by the way, so. Just FYI. <laughs> the next uh, enemy I need can be found on the fifth or the seventh floor. So there's also another enemy. Wait, this enemy is called uh, the Angry Table. Okay, so a table enemy, and then we also need to find a Phantom Lord on the fifth floor or the sixth floor. So that I might run into both or one of the two enemies I need in the fifth floor. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay. So, I reached uh, the fifth floor and I went into my first encounter and then I instantly ran into the Phantom Lord. Weak to light. Beat it and move on. So it's weak to light and these other ones are weak to nothing, I think. Right. Three enemies left. You can win this. Let's go and blast the guy with my trumpet. Go you rock. And then make it all up. Because why now not? There we go. Gotta do some damage. Your skin's weapon looks pretty ankles. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm not complaining about this. Nice. Be gone. <sighs> there we go. So full of time. I guess I already had this persona. <laughs> it's probably one of the things that I had to fuse to get Trumpeter or whatever. And we get the Modest Land, which is what I needed. Oh no. Do severe almighty damage to all foes. Yes, please. My god, Trumpeter is good. Amaterasu looks amazing, though. So cool. <laughs> I wish I did my planning a little bit better, but no. Alright, so what was the next one? I need to find tables also. Alright, I'll see you guys once I run into an encounter with tables. Immune to physical attacks. Literally the next battle. Literally the next battle. Um, won't work. Repel, but you're weak to wind. And this one is weak to fire. Right. That's pretty dang uh, convenient. day. Do I have a fire thing? I should have a fire thing. Fire crackers. There we go. You hit the enemy's weakness. All out of attack. Is everyone ready? Get set. You guys better keep up. Da -da -ba, da -ba, da -ba. Go! 
Uh, I guess I'll do Megadola. Megadola owned, sorry. <laughs> now I'm kind of wondering something. Because... Okay, no. Alright, Classy Lumber is, is an item like this. I was thinking it was a treasure item that I got rid of it. Which would have sucked a lot. Okay, let's go and take a look. So, after the Classy Lumber, I've already done the Phantom Lords thing also, the Animal Guide. Which means there's only one thing left, and that is a Reve Revelation Pesh. I'm sorry, I need an Old Ore, which is dropped from a Revelation Pesh. On the 6th floor and the 8th floor. Right. I'll meet you guys once again here when I have the thing I need. Or when I run into the enemy, really. Okay, so apparently I did run into these enemies before. These are the enemies I need, Revelation Pesh. Don't know where I ran into them, but I did run into them before. You're weak to lightning, right? Let's just go and do zero dying times two. <laughs> it is definitely a grease lightning. Alright, make it alone. For some severe almighty damage. You're on a roll, Not too severe, but... Too meh. Let's go for a, a, a Magaru Dain. Smack him on the fort. Down. Good answer. And see if we can finish him off. Because <laughs> I couldn't finish him off last time. God damn it. Couldn't do it. Oh right, we have a Juness Bomber. Nice. That should do it. To nest bomber. Right, I love it. I and we get the old ore, which I needed. Let me go and take a look at something there. Cause I guess I got everything that I needed then. Normally. Hopefully. Let's go down the list of items. So uh, these are the homunculus, by the way. Protect self from instant death skills. It automatically gets used whenever you get hit by one of those. Okay, so, I have a modest lamp, which is what I needed. We have the old ore, the classy lumber, and the animal guide. Those are all four things that I need. If I take a look at my quest log, those are the only four quests that I am doing right now. <laughs> okay, good. That's also the only ones that I can do right now, really. Alright, people, I think I'll make my way to the top of this place, and we're gonna go and fight ourselves a boss. Or like a boss shadow, really, at the end. And hope that I don't get absolutely wrecked by it. Okay, it did not take me as long if I just, you know, ignore a lot of the enemies. <laughs> which I wasn't doing before, which made it so that these tracks would just take a long time. So, yeah. <laughs> of course, didn't really get leveled up a lot more. I did get a couple of levels. I'm gonna enjoy this off, actually. So, Rize has reached her final level. At least to the point that she's gonna get another skill. Unless if I go... You know, and finish off her <laughs> freaking social link. She's not gonna get anything else. The thing she got at her final level was Vigor Song, which is part recovers 10 SP, 10% of the SP after battle, which is amazing. <laughs> ah, and then we have um, Teddy who leveled up a couple of times, and he got Meteor Raha, and then it's gonna get Ice Amp eventually. And then we have um, we have Yukiko who got. Did she get anything? No, she just leveled up. She's gonna get Salvation though. Fully restores party's HP and cures status ailments. Wow. It's pretty dang good. Um, and then we have Yosuke. Who didn't get anything quite yet, I think. No, he's gonna get Brave Blade though. Which seems like a pretty useful thing. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go and see if we can beat the Strong Shadow behind this door. Show him his boss. I am a little bit unsure about that, but oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Of course, it's not gonna work. It's a mini boss. Let's see. That's some thick skin. Yeah. It's a decent amount of damage. How much magic do we have? Fifty-three. Yeah, this one is still the best. Let's go for this one. Last one. Go for it. Zeudine. Meh. Master Bomb, okay. That's interesting. Okay. 
Uh, let me go and lower your defense, please. Maracunda! Let's go for... Agidine, then. Ooh. That's a lot more damage. Your persona is, yeah, tied between magic and physical. Your persona is confusing. <laughs> Is what I would call that. Let me go and switch over to her, maybe. Because I can do... Um, myriad arrows or... Stuff like... Wait, was it Gigantic Fist? No, wait, that was like God's Hand or something. That was a thing for Chie. Let's go for this one. Myriad arrows. Oh, he blocks physical attacks. Okay. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Inflict with silence. <laughs> Poor Teddy's persona is sealed. Okay, so no, no physical attacks in this guy. Couldn't do it. Last one. Go for it. Persona. No problem. That's some thick skin. Poor I probably should have healed. Yeah, I probably should have healed that. Oh well. So be it. Um, let's go and do Agadine. Not as much as what's your face, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Senpai, that was so cool. Let's go and guard, you can go and do me and your raw hand. <laughs> Just because why in the hell not? There we go. Last one. Go for it. And then we continue doing this. It's not going down. Persona. Persona. <laughs> Now what's Nebula? It's fine then. Hey! Rizzi! Well, allies attack increased. Ooh. And your defense lowered. Hmm. Bufidine. Mm. It's not working! Welp. It's over. Teddy is officially useless. Alright. I couldn't do it. I guess he's gonna be my healer for this battle. I just noticed that I have two healers in my party, technically. Damn, it's not going down. Oh well. That's... I'm sorry, but that's like a big... That's a very big, like, middle finger right there. Defense reverted. Is bewildered. Oh boy. I always have to read. Just to be 100% sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. This guy might do something really nasty or whatever, but... I, couldn't do it. I guess we'll see. That is some thick skin. <laughs> Didn't even get the chance to do anything nasty. Alright. Your courage has increased. <laughs> nice. I leveled up. And that's it, probably. So weird, though. In a certain way. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to go fight this special shadow? What do you get for it? Ah, uh, you just get... Just get some... Some extra courage? <laughs> I'm like, oh. Thanks. Alright, let's go return to the entrance. I have everything that I need from that place. In the next episode, we can go and start going into the next place. Am I gonna go into that place with this party? I don't know, though. This party isn't too amazing, I would say, but I do kind of want to work on their levels there. Let me go and take a look at the rest of the party for a second to see if they still have skills to learn. Because she doesn't. Uh, Rize also doesn't. Kanji does. But he only has one more, and that's a lack amp. They have Naoto. Naoto is such a good party member. <laughs> Persona is so good. Um, and then Teddy. You know, I think I'll just go and run around with Prince and Teddy. Uh, I think I'm gonna replace Teddy at a certain point. Yukiko still has some stuff to go in Yosuke also. Sure. Alright people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just how I was playing Persona 4 Golden, and next episode we're gonna go and deal with the beginning of Adachi's dungeon. Goodbye. Okay,